so did you feel kind of there was some sense of justice being done in a way? It, I, I, I felt justice, but not, um, it's not really, this is not really for me. This was for the other women involved and not just involving Sir Michael Fallon, but all the women who feel like they can't come forward. I was already half out, really, by talking about my experience. I really wanted to do this to protect other women. That's, that's the thing, isn't it? Because the, the, the whole culture has to change. Yes. Absolutely has to change. Yeah. Because it would be, I mean, if I was like, you know, when I was just starting out in journalism and somebody had done something like that to me, I don't know what I would have done. Yeah. Now, I would just tell them to, you know, yes. you know, yeah. you can imagine. And I'd be able to do that. And I'm sure you're in the position that you're in now, you're able to do that. But you weren't then. No. You no. weren't then. No. And there are too many women Actually, and we should say young men as well, because yes, it's not just women that are in that they're in that position. Mm. It's interesting what we're seeing um, this morning. I mean, it's it's, it's tragic. It's absolutely mm. tragic mm. that someone has taken their life. You know, it's, it's it's it is tragic. Do you think that there is a case there? Because obviously, he wanted to know what the charges were against him. Yes, and and wasn't given that opportunity. Um, Mr. Sergeant wasn't given that opportunity. Um, is there a case that maybe <laughs> there's anonymity? before a charge and maybe maybe these allegations should be kept for, for on both sides until the person's actually charged it's it's very difficult i think what the, the other side of the argument and what um people charities involved in rape and sexual assault and sexual harassment would say is that by if by naming people involved that that will encourage other women to come Indeed, forward yes. And I mean, my condolences to his family. It's just oh, it's really horrendous. distressing Absolutely horrendous. news. And I think it's important to say that actually we need due process, yeah. not for the women, not, not just for the women mm. complainants, but also for the people who are alleged to have yeah carried out this behaviour, they need due process as well. No, absolutely, because it's clearly a desperate act, a desperate yes. act. And, and he did say he wanted to know the charges and the, the Labour Party, for some reason, didn't do that. I don't know mm. what their internal structure is, mm. but clearly it has to be looked at. Yes. It really does.